Hello dear friends, welcome back to your own YouTube channel Civil Engineer. In beams, depth or height of the beam is generally kept larger than breadth or width of the beam. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss detailed reasons for why depth of beam is kept greater than its width. So watch the video full and do not forget to like this video. Let's start today's discussion. The beam is a flexural member and it is mainly subjected to bending moment or flexural stresses. Beams are generally designed to resist bending stresses or flexural stresses or you can say that bending moment. The cross section which is most suitable for the beam will be the one having larger value of flexural rigidity EI. Here E is the modulus of elasticity and I is the moment of inertia of a given cross section for a beam. For a given material, the modulus of elasticity is constant and the moment of inertia depends on the geometry of the figure. We know that flexural stress is equal to my divided by I. According to the flexural stress formula, to reduce the flexural stress and increase the flexural strength of the beam, a higher value of moment of inertia is desirable because flexural stress is inversely proportional to moment of inertia. Increasing moment of inertia will reduce flexural stresses and increase flexural strength of the beam. Moment of inertia of a rectangular cross section is given by Moment of inertia is equal to B H cube divided by 12. Here this B is the width of the beam. H is the height or depth of the beam. As you can see that in this formula, moment of inertia is directly proportional to cube of height and also directly proportional to breadth or width of beam. Increasing the height or depth of beam will be more effective in increasing the moment of inertia and flexural rigidity of the beam than increasing breadth of beam. It means that if you want to increase moment of inertia of a section, you can increase it effectively by increasing height or depth of beam instead of increasing breadth or width of beam because you can see that moment of inertia is directly proportional to the cube or height. So, increasing height of the beam will be more effective for increasing moment of inertia. This example will show that increasing or keeping height or depth of beam more will increase the moment of inertia of a section very effectively. Here you can see that a beam is taken having width 20 inches and height 18 inches. As we have discussed that moment of inertia of a rectangular beam is equal to b h cube divided by 12. Here put values in this equation we will get moment of inertia is equal to 12 multiplied by 18 cube divided by 12. Here this 12 is width of the beam and 18 is height of the beam. After doing simple calculation we will get moment of inertia for this section is 5832 inch to the power 4. If we orient the same beam and we take its height 12 inches and its width 18 inches. Now the moment of inertia will be equal to 18 multiplied by 12 cube divided by 12. Here this 18 is the width of this beam and 12 is the height of the beam. After doing simple calculation we will get moment of inertia is 2592 inch to the power 4. Now you can see that for the same beam having larger value of depth will give you more moment of inertia than for beam having larger value for of width. It was all for today. Thank you very much for watching the video full. For more updated videos about civil engineering, please keep in touch and subscribe the channel by clicking the subscribe button along with bell icon to receive the notification of upcoming videos. And please do not forget to like this video. Thank you very much.